Hello, and welcome to this video covering Mainframe Essentials Software Risk Assessment. Have you ever asked yourself or have been asked any of these questions? Are our products up to date with the latest maintenance? Are any of our products nearing end of service? Has support ever asked you if a certain PTF has been applied? Well, if so, and you've ever struggled to easily find answers to these questions, this video will be of interest to you. Software Risk Assessment is a feature included in Broadcom's Mainframe Essentials and can help easily answer the questions posed on the previous slide. The feature analyzes any SMPE installed product in order to provide a risk assessment associated with maintenance that is available for the products. This feature provides a ton of details about the maintenance that is available including detailed descriptions and attributes of the maintenance. You are also able to assess any products that may be nearing an end of service or end of life date. The data provided by Software Risk Assessment is also available via any of the SysView APIs. Meet Sherman. Sherman is a systems programmer at his company and needs to ensure that the mainframe software that he manages is kept up to date with the latest and most important maintenance. Sherman struggles to identify important maintenance that may be available but not installed. Sherman can benefit from software risk assessment provided by Mainframe Essentials to analyze the risk associated with maintenance for the products that he manages. Let's now jump into SysView to see the software risk assessment feature that Sherman can take advantage of. All of the SysView functionality shown is included in Broadcom Mainframe Essentials. Software risk assessment is made up of several SysView commands that Sherman can use, which we will cover in this video. Sherman can start at the Software Risk Assessment menu in SysView to see a list of software risk assessment related commands. Sherman will start with the PTF list command, and this is normally the first place to start when performing a software risk assessment. This command displays a list of SMPE installed products. It's important to note here that software risk assessment is not only for Broadcom products, but truly any SMPE installed product, as we can see by the vendor field in the PTF list screenshot. The products that are shown on PTF list are configured in the SysView Parmlide member SVWX PTFL. The SVWX PTFL Parmlide member is made up of product specific entries of the format shown on the screen. Here you can figure information about each product that you want to analyze. This information includes the product FMID, CSI, and LoadLib, amongst other attributes. The fields defined in SVWX PTFL then display on the PTF list command. Sherman will configure his SVWX PTFL ParmLib member to include the products that he manages. The reason why PTF list is generally the best place to start for software risk assessment is because all of the product attributes are defined here. With these attributes available, we can easily link to other SysView commands to drill down into each individual product. To see a software risk assessment for a given product, Sherman can enter the select line command, which drives into the command named PTFs. The PTFs command can be driven directly, but each of the attributes displayed on the PTF list command must be passed as parameters to the PTFs command, which is less efficient than selecting entries off of PTF list. After using the select line command on PTF list, Sherman now sees the PTFs command for the product he selected, which is SysView version 17.0 in this example. This command shows a list of available maintenance for the product. The source of the list of maintenance displayed by the PTFs command comes from querying the product CSI, reading product XML tracking elements, and reaching out to an API. Pulling from multiple sources allows Sherman to be confident that all available maintenance will show on the PTFs command. There are many fields on the PTFs command. The first three fields highlighted here show the sysmod name, the type of maintenance that it is, and a short description. By scrolling right on the PTFs command, Sherman can see fields that show more attributes about the maintenance, published and applied dates, and a risk level associated with each sysmod. Each sysmod begins with a risk level of none. As the attributes of the sysmod are processed, this risk level can change to low, 
medium, or high, depending on the risk severity. We can see that Sherman has not received or applied a security integrity related PTF, which is marked as a high risk. The risk for each sysmod is summarized in the information area of the PTF's command, which helps easily assess for the entire product rather than analyzing each sysmod. We will cover the information area shortly. For Broadcom products that provide XML tracking elements with their maintenance, the select line command can be used on the PTF's command to view a more detailed description of the sysmod. Here we can see a detailed description of the Broadcom sysmod that Sherman selected on the PTF's command. For any ZOSMF users, the same information provided by the software risk assessment in SysView can be viewed by the ZOSMF Broadcom software toolkit plugin as shown on the screen. Let us now focus our attention on the information area on the PTF's command which is outlined on the screen. This information shows different areas of risk that are assessed for the product. Starting with the section titled Software Risk Assessment, we can see a summarized risk level of all of the sysmods displayed by the PTF's command. The risk field shows the highest risk level associated with any of the sysmods. The At Risk field displays the number of sysmods that have a risk level higher than none associated with them. The At Risk field is calculated by totaling the sysmods that have some type of risk associated with them. The right portion of this section shows the number of sysmods that fall into each risk category. Each sysmod can fall under multiple risk categories, so the at risk field is not merely a straight total of the number shown in the right portion, but rather shows the number of unique sysmods that have risk. Sherman can use this section of the information area to quickly identify the risk associated with product maintenance. The Out of Support section in the Information area shows the number of sysmods that are available but have not yet been applied within the specified number of days since the sysmod was published. Based on the number of days shown by the age field that Sherman configures, he can ensure that he never waits longer than a certain period of time to install new maintenance. This will help Sherman feel confident that his products are up to date. Finally, the end of service section of the information area shows the end of service date if available for a given product. If the end of service date is in the past, the risk field will be marked high. Similarly to the out of support section, the warn field allows Sherman to configure the number of days until the end of service date is reached that will be considered a medium risk level. This helps Sherman identify products that are running out of support versions. By selecting anywhere in the end of service section, Sherman can drive to the prod life command filtered to only show products with a matching product ID. This command can help Sherman identify product lifecycle information about the different versions of the product that are available. Sherman can also use an unfiltered version of the prod life command to see product lifecycle information for all mainframe products for the vendors that are configured. Here we can see that both IBM and Broadcom products are displayed. On this command, we can see product names, versions, and product lifecycle dates, including end of service and end of life dates. This information can help Sherman easily identify products that are nearing their end of service or end of life dates. The information displayed by the prod life command is sourced from mainframe vendors product information files. These files are standardized JSON files normally downloaded from a mainframe vendor's site. SysView can either download the product information files over HTTP and HTTPS, or read the files in from a ZUS dataset or USS file. See the help topic named Configuring Product Lifecycle Information for detailed information on how to configure the retrieval of product information files. A recommendation when it comes to ensuring a low software maintenance risk level is to run the Broadcom receive order on a scheduled basis. This ensures that all the latest Broadcom maintenance is being received on your systems. As mentioned earlier, the list of sysmods that are displayed by the PTFs command are sourced from querying the product CSI, reading in XML tracking elements, and reaching out to an API. It is recommended that all of these sources are configured to ensure that all available maintenance for a product is listed and can be assessed for risk. 
In the section of the information area outlined on the PTF's command, the source of the sysmods are displayed. Here we can see the CSI that was queried indicated by the CSI field, the dataset containing the product XML tracking elements indicated by the XML lib field, and the status of the API call indicated by the retrieve field. As mentioned for Broadcom products, an API can be called over HTTPS to retrieve a list of available maintenance in real time. By configuring this API, even sysmods that are not received on Sherman systems will be displayed by the PTFs command. See the help topic titled Real-Time Retrieval of Broadcom PTFs for detailed information on how to configure this API. One topic discussed in the help topic is configuring a SAF key ring name that contains a Broadcom certificate that SysView will use to communicate to the HTTPS API. When configuring the SAF keyring name for the API, Sherman can use this keyrings command to see a list of keyrings defined and certificates connected to each keyring. Sherman can also use this command to view detailed information about each certificate, including certificate expiration dates. Expiring certificates can also introduce risk on Sherman systems. All of the commands shown in this video are available via SysView APIs. This includes the SysView REST API, Zoe CLI plugin, and Rex API. A sample SysView Zoe CLI plugin command is entered on the command line shown on the screen. Here the PTFs command is displayed with several fields. By leveraging the SysView APIs, the software risk assessment information can be made available to other integration ideas like creating dashboards. This brings us to the end of the video. In summary, we discussed the software risk assessment feature available in Broadcom mainframe essentials. This feature analyzes SMPE installed products to assess risk associated with available maintenance. The feature also includes the ability to see the status of available maintenance, view detailed descriptions of sysmods, and determine products that are nearing their end of service or end of life dates. With this feature, Sherman is happy and feels confident that he can easily analyze the risk associated with maintenance for the products that he manages. Thank you for watching.